What's up, pretty gang? Good morning. It is 7 a.m. And today we are discussing short nails, specifically shape and structure, okay? Of course, before we get into it, this is the final result. It does go in the dark. I'm getting ready to show you exactly that color right now. You guys already know, not polish. It's not not polish. It's not nothing. Use my coupon code to save some money. And of course, if you want some extra mentorship, you can join my channel membership, become extra pretty. Here are all the perks that we're dealing with. Only $5 a month, and you can cancel at any time. So... I wanted to bring you guys this video today on this beautiful Saturday morning because I feel like it is very, very important to talk about important things such as nail structure, especially for shorties because a lot of people don't realize they need some love and structure as well. So what do I want to discuss? Of course, nail structure. We want to talk about what is nail structure, do shorties need an apex, and what is the right thickness? I am here to tell you that, number one, shorties do need an apex. Maybe it's not as big. As what you're normally used to but they do need an apex as far as nail thickness we're going to do a couple of different examples I'm gonna show you three different nails we're gonna go from too thick all the way to too thin okay so as I'm doing this nail right now you guys can see how much acrylic is there now it, it, from first glance it can look as like okay it seems like a lot but it's balancing out I'm gonna tell you right now this nail is too thick okay I am showing you this because although the shape is coming along and it seems like, okay, that's really, really good and everything, this enhancement is too thick. There is too much acrylic for how short this nail is. And if I were not to fix it during filing and shaping, what would happen is we have an unbalanced nail, which is going to become too heavy as the nail grows out. So where you would need a fill, right? Like as the nail grows out, you guys can see the new growth. That is where the problem comes when the nail is too heavy and too thick especially short because as life goes on and you need to fill and your nails start to you know hit things if you're not careful you will crack your nail in the area where your new growth and the enhancement meet okay so again you guys look at from the side this is a little bit too thick now as beginners and things like that of course we're all going to run into this problem but i'm here to just help guide you onto how to fix those problems a little bit quicker than maybe you could on your own that's all i'm here for just some guidance and good old support now this now i'm going to show you is going to be what i consider a more appropriate thickness okay i understand all of you guys are not going to be able to do the one bead method and that's completely okay just look at what the nail looks like in general even if it takes you three beads to get there okay so the reason why this one is considered just right is because number one a lot of the bulk is gone number two we have a way smaller apex area because again short nails do need an apex because for security and safety however we do not need a noticeably large apex like for look and i understand i've seen people um have large apexes because it's like oh that's the look i prefer i'm telling you right now it's unsafe okay short nails only need a certain amount of apex even on overlays when there is no nail tip okay you still need it there just not as much so really what you want to look for is a cuticle area that is nice and flush i say it kind of like there's a little speed ramp up to the apex as you notice the pinky the apex is pretty much sitting right from the cuticle area but you can see the technique i'm using here a lot of the bulk is gone out of the cuticle area and the apex is sitting kind of what they, what they call that in the back y'all i'm sorry it's literally 7 a.m in nail school they say the back third or two-thirds of the nail you guys can see from this side is where the apex is now as far as the tip with nail structure in school they do tell you the nail tip should only be about as thick as a credit card which at first sounds crazy but kind of when you get into it and if you start doing this for long enough and you kind of be like hmm, you know what they low-key was kind of right the reason that is is because if the tip is too thick then when you hit stuff it's just not going to go right okay so as you guys can see i'm showing you guys the differences this is just right not too bulky but not too thin we have a nice opacity and the tip is a really nice thickness with a nice smooth apex now on this nail i'm going to show you guys something that is too thin now at first it looks like the bead is too small but as i'm spreading it you might start to think like peaches girl this is not too thin this is literally good no it's not okay you guys are going to see as I go further with this application on why, even though it looks like it's okay, it's absolutely not okay. So number one, not only is there like literally no apex area, but when that happens, you will notice that either A, 
half of the like the front half of the nail might be a little thicker than the back half which means the nail is going to be top heavy or b the whole nail is just way too thin as a whole what happens when your nail is way too thin and there's not enough acrylic is that nail will never properly dry so even though it dries if you go ahead and touch the nail and squish the nail it will be bendy which is a problem that means there is absolutely no structure or anything when it comes to that nail and what that means is there is no not even enough acrylic in hardness to the nail to absorb any sort of shock or um you know what what do i want to call that um you know like when you hit your nails and stuff yeah your nails absorb everything that's what the shape and the structure is there for okay so what you want to watch out for is just using just enough acrylic to cover the enhancement that's just not enough okay and when i show you from the side you're going to be like oh wow it looks good from overhead but just not from the side and you'd be surprised how many stories that i've heard where clients said that this has happened to them not enough acrylic and their nails have been bendy when they left getting their nails done so you guys can see this is clearly too thin it's not even very opaque, so the color is not even the same, which is another issue. So you guys can see just between these two alone, the one that's just right and the one that's too thin, it's just not that great. And then the pinky, of course, is a little bit too thick. So let's go ahead and fix this. It doesn't take that much more acrylic to fix this, but you guys are going to see like, oh wow, that does seem a lot better, okay? Now, I'm gonna shape the nails up with my e-file and do my finished filing and seal the cuticles and i'm going to further talk to you guys a little bit more about the structure because obviously that's what i'm going to be fixing all of these issues so i can give you guys a little bit more pointers on exactly what we're looking for when we're filing because all in all when we're doing application we are trying our best to get our best result of course but i understand and we all understand that everybody's best result don't happen with application and that's okay that is what files are for so we can go ahead and fix after but I do want to just make you guys aware that nail structure has to be followed. There are certain things that I understand they look trendy or they look good, but some things do not follow a proper nail structure that is good for long-term wear and safety, you guys. Nails look pretty, but this stuff boils down to is your real nail going to fall off? Is your real nail going to crack in half? Um, when you get a fill, is that going to be safe as these enhancements grow out is the integrity of your natural nail going to be okay you would not believe how many nails that i've seen are way too top heavy meaning the tip and the second half of the nail the front half has way too much more acrylic or even the back half of the nail where the apex is has a lot of acrylic and what happens as it grows out people hit stuff and they crack their nail exactly where the grow out is and it's just something it's a lot to recover from okay so let's get into shaping. I'm using my not polished file, of course, medium grit sanding band. So with the structure, what do we want with filing? We want a flush cuticle area, we want a slight apex, and we want one overall thickness from the apex to the tip. What that last point means is that whatever we are doing to the apex, whatever thickness we decide, we kind of want that to balance out and stay the same all the way to the tip. Now the tip is going to be adjusted from the underneath when we, under, when we go underneath the C-curve area right but on top when we turn to the side we really just want one overall thickness besides you know the cuticle area being a little more flush so normally i will go ahead and use my e-file and getting all these nooks and crannies of course this was the nail that was considered too thick and i'm going to go back in with my hand file go over top you guys if you need help with filing i put out a video just a couple of days ago i'm not using my hand file here um just the e-file okay so you guys can see how much work it takes to get this into a proper um structure and just be structurally sound okay but you guys the work has to be done so you guys can see as i'm going the pinky is starting to debulk it's looking so much nicer we have a flush cuticle area and we're having one overall thickness you guys can see to the nail this is the nail that's considered just right and you guys will see how much less work it actually takes this is just we need to um Go ahead and do the work we need to do in the cuticle area but overall you guys can see that everything is pretty much going well again i don't want to sound like a stickler and i don't want to take away anyone's personal preferences but you guys just from someone who did actually go to nail school and people saying that nail school was pointless honestly i get it everyone is thinking nail school is supposed to teach you to be good but that is not what it's for everyone is self-taught everyone has to have their own practice everyone's routines that they have come from somewhere 
I like to play around with mine once I realize the way I like my nails to look. You can have a preference on what your nails look like. However, you still got to follow a certain nail structure. All right. The tip still needs not to be top heavy and the apex still needs to be appropriate for the size and length of the nail as well as the width and type of nail bed the person has. Okay. So again, I don't want to sound like no bitch or nothing. I just, I'm here to help everyone remember that nails is more than just the look. Okay. So if this is something that you struggle with, I know I mentioned in the beginning, but I promise you having that nail mentorship, if you join my, um, my channel memberships, because these are things that we will be talking about face to face over video chat and things that you guys can check in and I can look at your work and help you tweak things and we can talk about difficulties. So that's really what it's there for, for people who need someone to check in with and keep it real and keep it pushing. Okay. So again, from this angle, you guys can see now everything is matching up and looking well and maintained. And honestly, that's really what it's all about. So again, let's review do shorties need an apex yes they do they absolutely do what is a nail structure a nail structure is basically what holds everything together it is the safety behind these enhancements and what is the proper thickness you guys can see here we don't need too thin we don't need too thick this is what they look like from this angle okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i absolutely enjoyed making this video of course you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video